today we are going to demonstrate turbocharging and electric fields and some of their measurement effects. So what I have today is a few measurement tools. I have my field meter, which as you can see is connected to a grounding system. It's important that your field meter is grounded in order to make these measurements. I then have the output of the meter connected to a data logger connected to my computer. So I'll be able to show you the measurements. You'll be able to see my computer screen and you'll be able to see the measurements we're making instead of looking at just the field meter. So tribal charging always occurs when two things come in contact and are separated. In this case, I have a metal disc with an insulator standoff and an insulator, again with insulator standoff. So these are both electrically disconnected for me, electrically isolated. So if we bring these two together, let me start my computer. So we bring together and separate them. You'll notice this one has a negative charge and the metal one has a positive charge. Now it's interesting, most people don't think you can tribal charge metal, but since this is isolated, you can see it. And also you can notice that as I vary the distance, the electric field changes quite a bit. Now to eliminate it, it's quite different. Since I have a grounded work surface here, I could try grounding both. Now if you notice, the metal one actually charges God, but this disc cannot be removed from the charge by simply grounding it. So I have another device that we commonly use in ESD control called an ionizer that generates positive and negative ions. Turn it on, soak it in the ionization. And as you can see, we now have reduced the charge. Just one more effect of travel charging is the amount of contact, the amount of separation, and how long it's, that rubbing is can also increase the charges quite a bit. So if we take the two paddles again, really rub them together and separate them very quickly, you'll notice that the charge is much greater now on both of them. Equal and op they're always opposite charge. So this came out positive, obviously this one has to be negative. So in processes, contact and separation of two materials always results in charging. You can get rid of them easily with grounding your metal. And in the case of an insulator, you can't. You need to use an ionization.